Let's cut straight to the chase. Bitcoin's been breaking all time highs recently and you're getting FOMO. I'm here to tell you that it is not too late for you to enter the crypto market right now. However, time is running out. This is the first of a multi-part series where I'll be analyzing different strategies for different capital levels. Today we will be focusing more on the smaller amounts, around $1,000. Even if you have more or less money to invest, watch the videos, there will be a lot of transferable information you may not already know. Diving straight into it, we're going to begin with risk tolerance. Now, simply put, this means can you afford to lose the $1,000? If the answer is no, you need to get the f*** out of crypto. This place is a damn minefield and you are almost guaranteed to lose money. We will be taking a lot of risk here and if losing your capital will result in severe negative ramifications for you then please avoid at all costs however if you decide that it is indeed money you can afford to lose we can move on to the next step which is basically ascertaining your goals this point here is pretty self-explanatory you know do you want a 2x return do you want a 10x return are you looking for 20 percent on your capital or are you looking to go forward the general and go to the moon? <laughs> um, lots of people often invest without understanding exactly what they want from their returns. They see their portfolio rising, 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 and they always forget to cash out because you know they don't they haven't established why they're there in the first place. If you have a rough figure in mind, it makes it very easy, or a lot easier anyway, to plan exit strategies and take profit levels. Working in tandem with this, you have to establish whether you are a trader or an investor. By trader, I mean, do you have the free time to study charts all day, have quick ins and outs, quick entries, quick exits, and quickly react to ever-changing market conditions? Investing, on the other hand, you may not have the free time, so you're looking to zoom out and take a, a long-term approach to your investments. Now, if you are going to invest, patience is key. Enter with conviction, zoom out, and remember, always remember the long-term outlook, uh, why you invested in the first place. I know a lot of people who, they put money in at the start, they're project didn't move for a couple weeks or whatever and they saw others pumping and they quickly took their money out only for the project to then pump afterwards. This is where having strength in your own conviction comes in and you need to have the discipline to uh, stick by it. Obviously it's easier said than done but uh, yeah that's just a, a tip that I've seen a lot of people struggle with in crypto. Something else to consider is to be wary of who you are following. Investors obviously invest for the long term whereas traders trade for quick ins and outs. I am predominantly an investor as I work full time in finance so therefore I don't have the time to trade. Please adapt your own strategy according to your personal circumstances and also adapt who you follow. If you follow traders but you work a 9 to 5, you're not going to be able to keep up with their calls and you will have different goals at the end of the day. So now we have set out some fundamentals on your personal profile, we can move on to the actual money to invest. We have our $1,000 here and the question you need to ask yourself at the start is do we diversify or do we concentrate? By diversify, I mean do we split up our monies into multiple different projects or do we concentrate all into one? There is no one size fits all approach to this and it can vary depending on your own comfort levels and your own personal goals that we've established earlier. We'll go through examples of both in case it's unclear what I mean and then I'll give my own personal opinion on what I believe the better approach to be. Hypothetically, let's assume that your goal is to 10x. I select this as it seems to be the golden number in this space along with 100x, but this one's just a lot more realistic. So under diversification, let me zoom out, under diversification, you select four different projects evenly splitting your $1,000 into 250, 250, 250, 250. Uh, they all 10x, bang, 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 bang. You're left with 10k happy days. Now, if it was that easy, everyone would be doing it. The odds of you selecting four different projects which 10x consecutively is minimal. You could be waiting a while for each of them to bring the desired 10x return. On top of this, it's hard to keep up with news on all four projects. You know, any updates, charts, analysis, anything on social media. It's, it's really difficult to keep on top of four separate projects. What is more likely to happen rather than all four 10xing is one could give you a 10x return, bring you to 2.5k. Uh, one could just not move and you're at break even, you know, you haven't lost anything, but you haven't gained, so you're still about 250. And then two could genuinely just be Ponzi schemes and rug. Um, at the end of the day, obviously, you have your $2,750, which is still profitable, still good, but can we do better? You know, you didn't reach your goal of uh, 10x. Let's take a look at the other side, which is obviously concentration. Now, this is pretty simple maths here. $1,000 into one project, you get a 10x, boom, 10k. Again, a lot easier said than done, but let's think one project which you have done extensive research on, you know, you can follow and keep up with regular news as well. Uh, obviously the risk is a lot higher and your portfolio will be a lot more volatile. The project could easily rug and lose all your money and you obviously don't have the diversification security net covering any losses. This is quite literally an all or nothing approach. However, if you have high goals like a 10X plus, 
this would be my preferred strategy. High risk, high reward, and you avoid the dilution of your gains. If it would stress you out too much, however, I would say maybe diversify into a maximum of two projects, $500 each, not the uh, 250 split that we saw earlier. I mentioned at the start of the video that the window for investment is closing. Uh, projects are pumping literally left, right, and center all around us. And if you pick the right project, you can easily 10x your capital in only a matter of weeks. So now that we know what strategy we will be going with, we move on to the next step, which is narrative. As we most likely should only be choosing one project, we will stick to only one narrative. I suggest that you choose between these two sectors here, gaming and AI. These will be the two strongest sectors over the next 12 to 18 months, and you simply cannot be underexposed here. If you are struggling to decide which one, think back to your previous experience. Maybe you are a gamer, or maybe you previously worked in tech and understand artificial intelligence. Also factor in the market, there will be periods where AI coins will be pumping, then cooling off as a narrative switches to gaming and vice versa. Try and plan your entry before the pump. If you're confused by what I mean by this, at the time of recording this video, AI coins are pumping heavily um, and gaming coins aren't really getting the love they, that they should be. So what you should be doing is picking a, a good gaming project, um, accumulating it now, just in time for when the narrative swings right back round to gaming, you're already positioned and you can obviously enjoy the pump that comes. Now, whichever narrative you choose to follow, it will all come down to the most important question, which is which coin shall you choose? I'm not trying to plug myself, but I will anyway. Um, I've mentioned some great gaming and AI projects already on this channel, and I will continue to do so in the future. Some have already provided us, uh, me and the community, with 10x plus gains, and some are still yet to take off. Uh, so yeah, please take a look through my previous videos on the channel to see if anything there interests you. Alternatively, there is an excellent member calls section in my Discord where the community throw in and analyze good projects. So yeah, join and take a look in there too. It's completely free. I recommend creating a watch list on either CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko of projects that you're interested in or you can't decide between. Uh, this is just a list of some of the projects that I have mentioned already on my channel. But essentially, you can set up alerts on your phone and be notified quickly if there's any price movements. And it's just easy to analyze which projects have the best entries. You know, I often sort by what's pumped up the most in the last 24 hours or obviously what's decreased the most and obviously you can see which ones are good entries good exits etc so i do recommend setting this up if you haven't done already linking back to your goals that you initially set out this is what decides what coins you're going to go for if you want the two to five x safe return you should stick to looking in the top 100 coins uh, there'll be quite a few projects in here which will give you a two to five x return over the next 12 months for the braver and more degenerate 10x plus plays, I recommend limiting your scope to projects under $100 million in market cap and maybe even go as low as the ultra low cap gems, which are around you know a few million dollars in market cap. Now, these will be obviously the most volatile ultra high risk coins, but they're also the ones which can significantly make uh, slash break uh, you. A lot of you who are new may be wondering what exactly makes a good crypto project. If you're familiar with my channel already, you know that I have a coin scoring matrix which I use to tick off certain aspects of a crypto which are synonymous with strong returns. I'll leave this here on the screen. Now, these are not all the factors which contribute to good projects, but typically I find that the more of these a project ticks, the more providential it is. The majority of these are pretty self-explanatory. You know, does a project have excellent technology? Is it of a low market cap? Is the team doxxed and credible? Do they have any key partnerships with any big players, whether in this space or just in the real world? Shiny coin is one which people might not understand, but it's essentially, is the project new? Was it around in the previous bull cycle? Because history tends to dictate that the best performing coins are the new projects, which are obviously weren't around in the previous cycle. Um, relevant narrative again is pretty self-explanatory is it AI and gaming for the purpose of this video but there's others you know real world assets uh, deep in layer ones etc active community typically just tends to mean how prominent are they on social media do they tweet a lot do they have a lot of followers on twitter uh, people talking in the discord does it have an actual community behind the project you know purchasing the project or playing the game or using the AI uh, software whatever it may be it's just it's pretty important because if the community is not active, the project is essentially dead. The one that tends to throw people off is tokenomics because a lot of people don't understand them and it can vary depending on the project itself, vesting schedules, what sector or narrative it's in, um, any deflationary, inflationary mechanisms. So this is the one which people might struggle to understand, but um, it is pivotal to what essentially makes a good project. 
feel free to use these factors when conducting your own research into coins that you may find. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys found it informative. Just a closing thought from me, uh, $1,000 isn't going to go far in crypto if you don't take risk. I understand the stress that can come from only holding one project and it obviously may feel easier to split up your investment. However, I like to think that fortune favours the bold and the quicker that you can turn that 1k into 5 figures, the more flexibility and room you'll have to play around with different strategies. These will obviously be covered in future videos on my channel. If you have any further questions, please jump in my free Discord and ask me in the community anything. I want to thank everyone so much for supporting me. The growth of this channel over the last two months has been absolutely insane, and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.